Dom and Kevin first, and I know I know what the standard answer is, but I want you to be honest. When you're at the line, and not only is the game on the line, but clinching a berth in the postseason tournament, and you've got free throws ahead of you. I mean, it's you know, it's, I know you're focused, but especially when the place literally gets so quiet, you can hear a pin drop. Um, do, is there something that that your focus kicks to a different gear, or your thought process when it's every free throw is important, but those four are more important. So I mean, is there something that you take yourself, hey, um, Tevin and, and Tim? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, um, what? Man, I was preparing. For sorry, but we'll see. Dom said for Tim. Yeah, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, my philosophy behind that is I was trying to relax because, I mean, um, obviously I'm focused on what needs to be done, but um, when you get to the line and you just want to relax and have that smooth flowing shot that you've shot a million times before. So that's what I try to do. And it's funny, I heard uh, one of the previous players that were there tonight say, put him away, Tev, and that just kind of gave me another little, like, nudge of confidence to, to – hit the second one, so that's what I did when I was at the line. Um, I hadn't had a lot of success from the free throw line in the last uh, two weeks, two and a half weeks, and so uh, my focus, again, like, like Ted, was relaxing. Uh, and, uh, Wait, and did I, you take a deep breath? I mean, I did. I, I, mean, I, 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 I did take a deep breath. Yeah. I tried to relax my shoulders, try to just, um, <laughs> you know, just try to um, just keep my mind clear. I think that's whenever I struggles whenever I start thinking about it. I just do what I've been doing for 20, well, not 20, but 18 years. <laughs> you know, just always had a ball in my hand. So, you know, it, was, it wasn't that much of a pressure when I just relaxed. BJ said it was on him because they haven't been practiced enough. But, you know, I know that you want to foul a person when you're up by three to give him two. But, and I, you know, Tim, I, didn't, I guess I didn't see the foul. Everybody stand up for me, but did you? I mean, did you, you want to foul him? I fouled him. Did you think he wasn't going to shoot? No, I mean, out there or what? me and Teb actually talked about it in the locker room. After he gets those two dribbles and there's 1.5 on the clock when I fouled him, I think I just got to let that ride um, there. And, and maybe not and foul him? And not foul him, you know, because I think he, he's not he's not extremely fast. He wasn't. A, he's a big no, guy. He's a horse. He's a, he's a big guy. So I think I just had to agitate him just a little bit, you know. He was going to take a shot from half court, maybe one step in front, I think. Um, and, and you know I, that's a feel, that's a feel thing. You know, as a senior, I was I was actually looking at Coach Hill as I'm running with with Kahuna. You were, yeah. He told CVs. me to foul. He told me to foul. But um, I think you know one of those. That's one of those situations when he got he has two dribbles. You just kind of let that kind of let that go. <coughs> and and you know if he he makes that one from 45, then I guess we'll go into overtime. But it was you know I made the wrong choice. Um, and uh, it worked out. It worked out though. <laughs> yeah. Worked out. yeah. Dom, talk about, and maybe even if there's a little sense of frustration, I know you, you contribute any way you can, and it's whoever picks up the slack, but feeling and knowing that somebody was going to pick up, I, you know, I don't want to say a lack of scoring, uh, scoring from you, but the pace you've been on for, you know, a month. Mm -hmm. That lack of scoring, and to look on here and realize there's 35 points from the bench, you know, and 20, or 18 of them from Tim. Knowing that, hey, if I'm not getting to the bucket enough, somebody gonna pick it up. Did you? Did you? You feel that comfort zone? Yeah, I did. I mean, I, I knew I didn't get off to a rough, I'm to a good start, but um, the my teammates just picked it up. Um, they knew they had to step up, and um, Tim had a great game. Um, we've been asking that performance from Tim for a long time, and um, he did it. Um, other players stepped up, and it was just a team con um, contributing to to the win. Guys, talk about if there is a deep breath, sense of relief, at least knowing that you are in the tournament now. I mean, I don't, I don't know that anybody ever had any huge doubts, but you almost don't want to come down to one damn game. Yeah. You know, that, with all the possibilities of thinking, holy cow, one game that's crazy. So is it, is it kind of a little bit of a, whew, that at least that part of the puzzle is in place? I mean, like, yeah, it's good that we're in now, but we still, Got to take one game at a time, and sure. we have to get get better each game and work on the things that we need to work on going into the tournament, so we can try to be successful in the in the tournament. Um, it's just something that we have to focus on, and um, yeah, it's just got to be a team effort to do it. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a relief that we're in the tournament, but um, just we as a team, we just want to, like Dom basically said, get better every day and roll with this mm -hmm. momentum into the tournament. You know, uh, luckily to have three games at home to finish the season, hopefully we take care of business here and roll with that momentum into the tournament and just keep keep going with it and knocking who whoever we see down. So. I think Coach Hill said it best um, with just being able to build uh, build some more habits um, and, and carry it over to the Big Sky Tournament. And I think with this upcoming week, we have a chance to polish up specifically on the defensive end. I mean, no one ever doubts us on the offensive end. Um, we've had a few games we haven't scored well, but or executed well, rather. And But um, for us to, we guarded them for 40, um, 40 percent from, um, they were 40 percent um, from the field, which is our goal is 39. In the first half, um, we got to keep that going. Cause that, that we have a lot of success, so um, I think we carry over next week. With, with Talk about a week. I don't know. I'd have to look, but I don't know if you've had a week between games all season. Uh, mm -hmm. It may feel a little bit different. Is that, that any big deal or not? Um, we have one, the same one with North Dakota yeah. again. Right. So um, yeah, like Coach said, he's obviously gonna sit in his office and lose sleep over. <laughs> How many times he wants to go, or what he wants to do, and oh, during the week. During the week, so yeah, that's all up to him. Our job is to bring it when we uh, are there and get the most out of uh, what we're doing on the court and off the court, whatever he he decides. So um, yeah, it's it's on him. We just have to do our part as well. He said he hasn't looked at standings in God knows how long. Do you guys look at standings, or I see, try not to see try who not beat to. who and. I, uh, yeah, I think on the I do more on the road, um, just because it's a, uh, you know, it's something to do. You got nothing to do anyway. Um, you don't we'll get watch into the comparative scores in a way. No, I mean that's some people still do, but it's kind of old school. But not really. Yeah, I think we just need to concentrate on us. You know, yeah. um, I mean Tevin, uh, Tevin's done a really good job this year with, uh, with whenever we haven't had a whole lot of uh, practice time. You know, coach has given us a break off the court and done a lot of stuff in film, um, just coming together and saying, like, guys, we need to bring the energy. We're not going to be here long, but we need to be focused up and be ready to go um, because it, it's going to be that extra that extra push. You know, you have how much do you want to save your legs and do off the court, you know. So Dom and Tev have done a really good job, you know, with, the, with, our, with our starting five of ramping it up for us as a group. Uh, Dom, Tim, uh, I talked to Coach Murphy for many years. He's, he kind of thought that the rebounding was the big key to this game. You, you guys had six offensive rebounds between you two. Did you that kind of fun emphasis for you, or just kind of the openings were there? Yeah, it's something Coach has been on us about all year. Um, that's one thing we pride pride ourselves on is rebounding, um, and then that's just what we tried to do. Um, they killed us on the boards in the first half, and then we just wanted to come out second half and put up a fight and um, try to out-rebound them. Um, we lost the battle by like two, mm -hmm. I think, but we still held up our end, because um, I think it was like at six or eight earlier. Mm -hmm. So um, just putting up a fight, rebounding, boxing out, and then the guards helping out as well, rebounding. Yeah. Um, it was just a team effort um, when it comes to rebounding. Um, on my end, I think, uh, Tevin, Cam, Jordan, uh, some of our bench guys, they come in and they are high power offense. Uh, I mean, they, because we have a lot of tools to, do, to be able to score. Um, and, and sometimes, you know, they might not get that, they might not make it, but uh, getting us an extra possession is huge, um, especially late in, late in the game. You were talking about Dom not really um, contributing scoring wise, but late in the game, he had, I think, two or three off two or three offensive rebounds, putbacks, you know, those were his points or kickouts to where we got another chance to go at them, whether it was we scored or we put we got them in foul trouble. Um, and that and that's what that's the difference I thought the game was because we didn't they shot fifty two percent. We just got extra possessions, I think. Just one last question because it doesn't happen very often, but you guys have zero turnovers in the second half. Um, oh, five of the games and zero in the second half. What do you, what do you think that contributes to those? It's just something, you know, just taking care of the ball, being patient on offense, not rushing through it, not trying to make the um, the home run play. Mm -hmm. um, just playing within the offense and then just taking what the defense gives us. Um, the, the guards did a really good job taking care of the ball. Um, 
just just playing the team ball would helped. I think there's a lot of confidence as well in the half court. I mean, um, one play that kind of jumps out to mind is just seeing Tev up and under like three times, hit us, <laughs> fade away in short corner. That's that's a confident play. A lot of guys did that. Jordan hit bang threes twice over over Upshur, you know, who has like five inches on him, six inches on him, whatever it is. Um, and and that's just confidence. And I think we go that you can't really. Guys are feeling it. You gotta let them go and let them play, especially our older guys.